I can honestly say this and that I don't think I knew or even said the words Mount Everest before I was 30 years old. You know, rock climbing, I didn't really know what that was, even though I was living right next to it, but it wasn't in my community. I wanted to learn more about these outdoor things, and I asked someone, and they gave me two telephone numbers, one to Knowles and one to Outward Bound, and the Knowles catalog came in the mail first. That opened my eyes to these other activities that you can do in life, and I decided that's what I wanted to do. Everest is an icon, right? You figure there's been over 10,000 people who have reached the top of Everest, and only six of those people are black worldwide. But as we started doing fact-checking and seeing, then it was, oh, we're at 10 at this point. It makes a difference if you see someone like yourself doing something, you want to do that, you know. I grew up being different from everybody else, from you know being the only mixed race, multicultural children on either side of our family. And so this was just one more sort of different and unusual thing that I did. Actually, I wrote an article about Sophia back in 2006. I think about why I was the first. <laughs> the thing that most of us have in common is the social economic privilege. You know, what's interesting about me is less the fact that I did this than what made it so that I was the person with the interest and also all of that privilege. That's what black folks don't have. Like, that's why they're not there. My climb isn't as significant to me as this sort of young generation of black women who are sort of coming up now. You know, when they tell me that they take inspiration from my story, that's what I think is significant. I'm not like creating the change, I'm like a reflection of change that's beginning to happen. <laughs> full Circle Expedition goes right back into that full circle about taking, you know, your knowledge and experience and mentoring this next generation. Just having a black person as the leader of the expedition, that means something to me, you know. If we can go to Everest as a team, come back as a team, and be able to, you know, break bread with one another, that is the historical landmark. If the summit comes on that, then that's icing on the cake. And if we can continue to do that and get people to be connected with the outdoors and the next generation, then we, we fill that gap that we were talking about. Yeah, my name is Philip Henderson. My name is Sophia Dannenberg, and in 2006, I became the first Black woman and first Black American to summit Mount Everest.